Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, April 11, 2024. I pray that you are in good spirit today and I hope that you are well. I pray that your family is also doing well. I ask that God will pour his blessing out on you today and your families. And may you look to him because he's there waiting for you to just ask anything you desire of him. And he says that he will grant it according to his will. And so we have a friend in Jesus. And that's good to know. Amen. Amen. So our reading today, it comes to us from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And we will read from verse 9 to 12. Now hear what it says. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you. For ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. And indeed ye do it towards all the brethren which are in all Macedonia. But be, but we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more. And that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you that ye may walk honestly towards them that are without, and that ye may lack of nothing. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word of wisdom and his word of guidance. And as we seek to understand what the Lord is saying to us today, I pray that we will open our heart and that we will allow the Holy Spirit to teach us so that whatever we are taught, we can apply. Amen. Now, here the Apostle Paul was advising the Thessalonians Christians how to live harmoniously and responsibly within the community. Right? He, he stressed the importance of showing genuine love and affection towards one another and also maintaining perfect peace and quiet lives so he spoke about that they must attend to their own affairs rather than meddling in others affairs you know some of us are so busybody we are so zoom in on other people and other people lives and not in a good way if it was a case where we were doing it out of care and love for others to make sure to, that they are okay then that would have been a good thing but most time when we meddle in other people's business we are meddling just to cause problem and so he is advising us that we need to learn to mind our own business focus on your affair he's, and he emphasized the importance of brotherly love and he, he says that this is something that they already know. This is something that we are already acquainted with. We know what love is because we said that we are in love with Jesus. And so if we are acquainted with love, that love must flow and extend to those around us. And it should increase with each passing day. Amen. So our love for each other is supposed to be stronger and it will help us to care about each other more. Put away the gossiping. Stop meddling in, in business that don't belong to us. Right? Because the truth is that a lot of us, we find fault with everybody else and we know everything about everybody else's life while our lives are wasting away. And that is dangerous. So, let love guide you toward the proper way. Don't be a menace within the community. Be a positive influence 
and let that influence extend to everyone that come in contact with you. Amen. So he goes on to to, to spoke about that we should work diligently to support ourselves and to support our family. Mean that we should not be involved in any illegal activities or any wrongdoing. We must what? Work honestly and fairly. Especially as Christians, we need to lead by example. And we need to be productive. Be productive and be considerate of others. Some of us, we are just, you know, I don't know where we get these bad behaviors from. And we are not setting a good example. And we need to do better. We need to know better. Because what? We are set as light bearers within the community. Beacon of hope in the world. And if all the world can see in us is our bad attitude, then what example are we setting? Surely not a good one. And so our character, or rather the character of Christ, should be reflecting in us. Our life should reflect love, peace, and kindness. Amen? So... I pray this morning that as we think about this reading, that we will allow the Holy Spirit to guide us towards wisdom, that we will learn to love each other. Because I always say this, you know, I don't think it is a coincidence that the fruit of the Spirit begins with love. Because that's where all the other fruits are on and love. If love is the motivating factor for what we do, then everything else will fall into place. I kid you not. And that is why in 1 Corinthians 13, it says that anything that we do, if love is not the guide and the reason for, for doing what we do, then we are just wasting our time. Amen? Something to think about. Food for thought. So may God bless you and may God keep all of us as we seek to walk in his righteousness. Amen.